Hi, I am Thekla Petridou, a Cypriot psychologist, YouTuber and author. <laughs> this is supposed to be um, our weekly video in English. Um, I have a YouTube channel that uh, most of my videos are in Greek. And like two years ago, I said I would uh, make every Friday one video in English to upload for my English speaking friends and followers. But it has been uh, long since I last posted. Today it's Friday the 28th of May uh, 2021. Uh, I haven't posted uh, a video in English. I haven't uploaded a video, a video in English in some weeks because <laughs> if you remember my last video was about me getting a dog getting a puppy and I've been really busy trying to get along with the puppy and right now I'm, I'm driving back to my house from the training uh, session I had with the dog trainer so it's been a long time I'm really sorry for missing out like three or four Fridays but this Friday I'm making a video and today's subject was asked uh, as a favor to me to make this subject from one of, of the viewers uh, of my channel who is Greek, but she has a relationship with a foreigner, or she tries to have a relationship, or she would like to have a relationship, or I don't know. She has a situationship with a foreigner. I, my daughter, who is 21 years old, she was scrolling on TikTok the other day and she was listening to videos without her earphones. So I. I had to listen because she was next to me and I heard the word situationship and I said what's this and she told me it's a modern word word it's a modern word it um, it's a word to describe the situation where two people two people get together have sex etc but they do not have actually a relationship and I said why they don't have a relationship because she told me mom you are a psychologist don't you know that most men are afraid of relationships and I told her some women as well even though they don't know it, they are. Uh, it's, most, uh, it's more common nowadays for men to uh, tell the truth that I don't want to have a relationship. I wouldn't like to have a relationship rather than a woman to say this. And the reasons are obvious. And okay, I'm judging uh, based on the society that I work in, the Greek society and Cypriot society, that the society doesn't um, give women too much choice on, or, on not being monogamic and um, relationship material. Anyway, I made this video in Greek with the title I want to have a relationship without having a relationship. So this video was about someone who wants to have a situationship. <laughs> okay, let me tell you about this video. and. Um, then I will, uh, I will tell you why I do it in English. Um, this uh, very edu educated woman uh, sent this email to me. She's a Greek and she lives abroad. And um, she has recently been single again after many years. And she started testing the waters of uh, dating ocean. <laughs> in oceans you find sharks and other dangers and she got really surprised and really amazed when she realized that there is this situation ship this situation whereas a man wants to uh, court a woman wants to uh, flirt with a woman wants to have sex with a woman wants to have communication with a woman but he doesn't want a relationship with her so she asked me politely to make a video what, about this situation, why some people are so arrogant, as she put it, um, against the god of love, Eros. So this video, it was watched by some thousand people, I don't remember how many thousand views it has. My channel is a, a medium channel, not so big. And um, this other lady who is also a Greek who lives abroad and she has a situation she put the foreigner she told me please please would you do the same video in English again so that I will send it to my situation friend <laughs> and I would like him to listen to your opinions 
to tell you the truth, I don't remember much. Um, I don't remember the exact words I said in that video, but I will talk about this subject. Um, the difficulty we find within ourselves to be in a relationship. Being in a relationship or being connected with other people is something very natural for human beings. It's only natural. Uh, it's in our genes. We are predisposed. We are predisposed to have an urge to connect with other people, not only on a sexual and romantic level, but in many levels. And uh, humankind wouldn't have survived if we didn't have this uh, urge to connect with other people. Um, today's society is a strange one because <laughs> it changes so fastly and yet um, we are not able to uh, understand the changes and uh, being able to uh, realize what really happens and what's going on with the forms, the various forms that our relationships uh, take. First of all, I would like to say that if you have uh, a communication with a person, if you text them, if you call them, if you meet with them, if you have sex with them, if you call them, if you text them, if you talk to them, then you have a relationship with them. Even if you say it is a relationship or it's not a relationship. Because sometimes we're like babies, we're like teenagers, like very young children. But they ask each other, are we in a relationship now? Oh, this question. <laughs> this question, what is this? What's us? What are we doing here? Of course you are having a relationship because you relate with each other. Even if you relate in a negative manner, you, re you relate with each other. But the word relationship is a word that causes fear to people who might have traumatic experiences from past relationships of their own or had traumatic experiences from the relationships of their parents with each other and with, and with themselves and with the children. Um, a person exists in relationships, in relationship to themselves and to other people around them. All our life is formed with the relationships, with the relationships. For example, now I have a relationship with my dog. I even have a relationship with my dog trainer. Not a romantic one, professional one, but I have a relationship with him. I also have a relationship with you, my viewers, which is a very different kind of relationship than the, the, the relationship I have with my children, or the relationships, or the relationship I would form if I had a physical office and I met people there. But it's still a relationship. What does a relationship mean? We are connected with each other and we have a continuity. When you meet someone once, and you have a an one-off, it's not a relationship. It's a one-night stand, one afternoon stand, one morning stand, but it's one stand, it's not a relationship. If you continue and you have several meetings and several um, written or oral communications, yes, you are in a relationship. And um, being in a relationship doesn't mean anything. It's not a contract being in a relationship. It's not, um, it's, not, um, it's not that you sign that for the rest of your life you are uh, obliged to follow this person everywhere and to make love to this person even if you don't really like them anymore and to be their slave or to be um, entitled to their... or they are entitled to your life. Being in a relationship is scary for people who have had traumatic experiences of relationships in the past or had very negative um, uh, models of uh, relationships in which they grew up. I mean, if you grew up in a household where your parents were fighting with each other all the time and they were hostile with each other and they were punishing each other with uh, uh, active aggressiveness of, or passive aggressiveness, if you have a very difficult relationship with yourself, whereas you don't like yourself, you don't, um, you don't appreciate yourself, you don't feel nice with yourself, you feel 
um, don't feel well with your body, when you don't feel with your own being, your own, your, with your own existence, then you will hate your guts and then you will be very afraid to commit yourself into having a um, loving relationship with another person. So, if someone says, I want to have a relationship without having a relationship, which means in, in, every, in, in common words, I want to have sex with you, I want to flirt with you, I want to have excitement with you, but I don't want to have all the, the things that they find negative in relationships, like uh, having to talk to you uh, in, a, in continuity, or having to hug you after making love, or um, being devoted to you emotionally then this person wants to have a, a very very specific kind of relationship which is a sexual relationship a sex only relationship and the problem usually is that you have one person that wants to go all the way wants to connect on a whole level um, they want to allow themselves feel free and experience the loving feelings they have about the other person and allow themselves to enjoy sex and after sex to allow themselves to enjoy the rush of endorphins and the rush of oxytocin that comes from our brain after having sexual contact with another human being. Um, our brain releases endorphins and oxytocin, which oxytocin is usually called the hormone of love. It's a neuropeptide. Peptide. Oxytocin is a neurotransmitter which makes you feel uh, uh, nice, uh, makes you feel uh, care, makes you feel very, very sweet. Um, your brain produces oxytocin when you see a young uh, animal or a young baby, and your brain produces oxytocin to make you connect with the other person. This is a very a very ancient uh, mechanism in our brain um, because uh, primitive people they didn't have uh, education and they didn't have uh, a structured society the way we have so they had instincts animalistic instincts in order to protect of the vulnerable so when they saw a baby or a young animal oxy oxytocin was released in their brain so that they felt love and connection with that vulnerable being and try to protect them. The same happens with humans. After having sex, if you stay in the same bed, if you stay in the same sofa or in the same car, I don't know where you people have sex, and you allow yourself to be in the same space and to have um, your energy um, being combined with their energy, oxytocin that will uh, naturally uh, be produced by your brain will make you love them. So when somebody says, I want to have a relationship without having a relationship, he means I want to fuck you, but I don't want to love you. And I will do anything, anything that comes in my power so that I do not get attached to you. So after we have sex, I will get dressed up and leave. I will rush in the shower and then rush out of your bedroom or rush out of my bedroom or I will get up and tell you, do you want a drink or uh, I should go or they will have a friend of theirs call them for something <laughs> that might happen and oh, I'm sorry, I would love to stay here but now I have to go, my friend is calling me and she has something uh, um, urgent happening and she needs my help so I need to go or he needs my help or I need to go. Anyway. Um, Usually, um, when somebody wants to have a, ro a loving connection and wants love to grow, they get very disheartened when their partner, their sex partner, does these things. They try not to get attached. So they have thoughts like, what should I do now? Should I show patience and start um, showing understanding and give that person the space until we meet again and until we have sex again and maybe someday, sometime, maybe, maybe, maybe he or she will fall in love with me, they will allow themselves to feel love and we will have what I want to have which is a loving relationship. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Don't put yourselves 
to go through that procedure. That you stay there and you allow the other person to put you into distance so that they don't get attached to you and allow the other person to use you for gratification, to use you for pleasure, and at the same time to protect themselves from loving you. I have nothing against good situationships, meaning that if I'm single and I would love to have just sex, nothing else, and I meet somebody else who's also single and he just, and he wants, I'm a heterosexual woman, okay? It, I happen to have been, I, 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 I was born heterosexual by chance. And um, if, I, if I felt like having sex only with no connection, no strings attached, and I met somebody, a man, who would like to have the same thing, and we made a, a discussion with each other and we said, you know, for this and that reason, you know, we need to explain our reasons. Um, for example, my reasons would be I have, I'm too busy, I have too many things to do, I have a lot of videos to produce, I have a, a new book to write, I don't have any time to spend on investing on a relationship. So um, uh, I, have, I have needs, I have hormones, I have urges, sexual urges, so maybe we make an arrangement and we meet every other Tuesday or every other Friday or maybe if you make some arrangement, maybe you should do it week, on a weekly basis, I think, okay, every Saturday or every Sunday or every Wednesday, whatever, eh? and you also want this and we'll have that. It's okay if both people are clear, are clear about what they want and they don't use each other um, for gratification without the other person knowing it, that would be okay. But, for example, if I wanted to have only sex and I met somebody and we met the situation, okay, and I, th- I saw the other person falling in love with me and telling me I have feelings for you and I want to, and I miss you and I want to kiss you and I want to hug you, the brave thing to do, the honorable thing to do would be to discontinue the situation should because I would be using the feelings that person would have developed for me for my own gratification and I would use them but what happens in real life this was a this was a, an imaginary example the truth is that I am single I don't have any time for any relationship and I don't have any any heart for a situation, meaning that I don't want to put my body and my soul during this through that procedure, that I will open myself to have sex with somebody and then I had to close myself to remain in a situation. So I say no, it's a personal uh, choice. Everybody is allowed to have their personal choices. But what happens usually is that there are these people out there that are very, very selfish and are like devouring, um, uh, they want to devour other people's souls. So they have an intention to make other people fall in love with them and have a situation with them, not a relationship, whereas the other person is in love with them so that they receive better uh, quality of sexual pleasure and gratification. Because if someone is in love with you, they will make love with you in more passion. So beware of these vultures, beware of these predators that they really don't want to love you, they just want to fuck you, but at the same time they want to fuck your brain, they want to make you fall for them, or if you have already fallen for them, they want to use this to their advantage, so they ha- also that they have a richer sexual experience because a person who is in love has much more passion during intercourse than a person who is not in love. So spare yourselves from the despair of trying to make somebody who, is, who has a very clear intention in their brain that I do not want to fall for this person. I do not want to love this person. I just want to fuck this person. So we might just say them fuck off in a polite way, which is not to fuck off, or in an impolite way. 
for me, being polite is something I keep for the polite people. From the impolite people, I might be impolite or be very, very uh, sparse with my words. I wouldn't say much to somebody who is impolite. If somebody is impolite, I will show uh, in an assertive manner that I'm not interested in relating in any way with them, no matter what they offer, no matter how good they think they are or they might be, hmm? in any aspect. Um, I would say no in an assertive way and I would take them out of my life without trying to explain to them uh, why it is a much wider and whole experience to make love with a person rather than use a person in order to have sexual gratification for yourself. That's my opinion. I don't know if I, if I have... Um, if I have uh, given um, the essence, the same essence that I gave in the video in Greek, but these are my thoughts on the matter. And uh, I feel that, I believe that uh, the more spiritual a person is, the more cultivated uh, spiritually a person is, the less they go for uh, uh, superficial connections. They long for uh, deep, meaningful connections. And deep, meaningful connections are the core of happiness. Saying this, it doesn't mean that all of us, we should be in a love relationship. We can have deep, meaningful connections with other people, with our family members, with our friends, with our colleagues. And please, take care of yourself. Don't allow yourself to be the gratification of someone who is afraid of commitment, who is afraid of relationships, who really wants just the pleasure and not human uh, care and human connection. I hope I will be able to upload a new video in English on my channel on next Friday. Please, if you like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, Comment below the video so that you give me some more, uh, uh, some more motivation to make more videos in English. Bye.